If I wanted to send money internationally to my friend through the SWIFT network, that probably takes about five days. On the New York Stock Exchange, it takes two days to settle. The restaurant that I ate dinner at last night, I paid with a credit card. That merchant doesn't even get the money for 30 days, and they get to pay 2.5% of my meal for the privilege of waiting 30 days. Trap capital is effectively money in transit. When in Web3, when you unlock that trap capital, you're increasing the velocity of money. Said differently, you're making money more productive. Definition of GDP is money supply times the velocity of money. In Web3, you're increasing the velocity of money, you're actually increasing economic growth. Who wouldn't want to increase economic growth?